Check one, two, check one, two. Check one, check one, testing one, two. The Gem City Sports Network presents the 2017-2018 SIAC West Division Champion Central State Marauders. Tonight's game is being brought to you by Central State University. Profile of Performance Products, G&G Fitness Equipment, a Special Wish Foundation Dayton, and by the Gem City Sports Network, your source for local sports in the Miami Valley, the Gem City Sports Network. Let's head courtside for all the play-by-play action of Central State basketball. Here's Doug Brown. Good afternoon, everybody, from a very jam-packed Beacon Lewis gym on the campus of Central State University. It's time for the Battle of Wilberforce. 
It's the Wilberforce Bulldogs taking on the Central State Marauders in their annual cross street battle. You've heard of the cross town shootout and all this. This is they're li- these two teams are literally ac- right across the street from each other. So it's going to be a good one today. The uh, the uh, the Marauders they had a big win yesterday over Spring Hill, and uh, they they won uh, 69-56, and they were clicking on all cylinders last night. They they come in at uh, three and sixteen overall. The Bulldogs they come in at four and eleven overall. So, and they, they uh, average uh, pretty much the same. Wilberforce averages 83.1 points per game, and they give up 87. Uh, the, like I said, the uh, Wilberforce average 81.3 points per game and give up 87.5. The Marauders. They averaged 67.7 points per game and give up 74. They met twice last year, and uh, they split the series. Wilberforce winning at Wilberforce on January the 18th, 83 to 70, and Central State winning a year at Beacon Blues Gym in February. They won 84, 81 to uh, 74. The last time out, Wilberforce, they defeated Middle, Miami Middletown, 63-49, and then, of course, last night, Central State defeated Spring Hill 69 to 56. Next up for both these teams, they'll be back in action on Wednesday when the uh, Wilberforce uh, Bulldogs will travel to Oakland City, Indiana, which is just a little north of uh, just a little north of uh, Evansville, Indiana. And the Central State Marauders will continue their five-game homestand with a visit from Wayne State. So we're going to take a break. Be back with more. Free game right after this. You're listening to the Central State Marauders on the Gem City Sports Network. Profiler Performance Products is an all-American manufacturer of racing cylinder heads and intake manifolds. From two-time Drag Week winner Jeff Lutz to the winningest bracket champions like Disco Dean Karn, Profiler Performance has become the overwhelming choice of drag racing's best-known name. Profiler Performance offers the absolute best bolt-on performance for cylinder heads and intake, utilizing their own in-house custom casting and CNC machining. For more information, visit ProfilerPerformance.com or find them on Facebook. Profiler Performance, they make power they haven't even used yet. Why do you exercise? To look better? To feel better? To drop a few pounds? To train for an event? To defy age? Or to keep your ability to say yes to the things you love to do? Whatever motivates you, G&G Fitness Equipment is here to get you there. Treadmills, ellipticals, rowers, bikes, home gyms, and accessories. We'll pair you with the right equipment, teach you how to use it, and be there every step of your fitness journey. G&G Fitness. Your goal is our goal. Become a donor and believer in the mission of Central State University. Help CSU thrive for years to come. To learn more, go to www.csubelievers.com. Our new funding website is safe, easy to use, and can be easily accessed from any mobile device. Visit www.csubelievers.com. Become a CSU believer today. A Special Wish Foundation Dayton is the only wish-granting organization in the region granting wishes to local children who are battling for their life against a life-threatening illness. Founded in 1983, a Special Wish Foundation has granted over 1,700 wishes. Find out more about a Special Wish Foundation and how you can help make a very special wish come true. Call 937-223-WISH or log on to aspecialwishdayton.org. A Special Wish Foundation, Dayton is a recognized 501c3 and all funds raised stay within the local community to support local children. It's me, your heart. 
High blood pressure is serious, and if you think I'm just going to keep ticking away, you're wrong. I can quit whenever I want, but I like my job. Just treat me better. Maybe we can do some exercise on occasion. After all, we're in this together. Don't let your heart quit on you. High blood pressure can lead to a stroke, heart attack, or death. Get yours to a healthy range before it's too late. Find out how at heart.org/bloodpressure. A message from the American Heart Association, the American Stroke Association, and the Ad Council. Back here at Beacom Lewis Gym on the campus of Central State University, it's the Bulldogs and Marauders coming up as the teams are finishing up their warm-ups. The uh, Bulldogs, they are led by Terrence Golston. He averages 19.5 points per game, followed by Jabril Hunter at 14. They've got about six guys averaging in double figures. So uh, Central State has a lot to uh, worry about tonight this afternoon. But uh, the uh, the atmosphere at Central State is is great. Uh, they uh, the band is here. They were here yesterday. Both both schools cheerleaders are here. The uh, Wobble Force will be to my right. Central State to my left. Crowd is uh, they are packed in here in the lower deck. They are packed in here on the far side. The uh, Ah, don't do that. <laughs> one of the one of the officials almost knocked over my computer. But anyway, uh, they are packed in here, and the upper deck on both sides is getting full. So this is going to be a jam-packed crowd tonight. And believe me, when it gets going, they start. They have some fun. Both the kids, both schools, have fun as uh, they. It's it's a. Uh, like a friendly rivalry. Like I said, they're right across the street from each other, and it's going to be a dandy. So sit back and enjoy tonight's, or this afternoon's game between the Marauders and the Bulldogs of Wilberforce. Bulldog, the Wilberforce dressed in their black jerseys with gold numbers and uh, kind of like neon green numbers, and the Marauders will be in their gold jerseys with maroon numbers and or with white numbers and maroon trim. But first of all, we're going to have our national anthem. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.
our national anthem here at Deacon Lewis Gym. Great job by the band, as always. I love that version. I love that one and uh, Whitney Houston's version of the national anthem. So we are getting set for the starting lineups. Darian Riddle. Tony Collins. This is uh, Wilberforce. Isaiah Jones, number 20. Jabril Hunter. He's at one of the top. Lawan Marshall is also the other one for the Central State Marauders as they are coming up. They had a great game yesterday. We'll give you the starters once again. Number four. Sean Johnson. Also starting is Josiah Wilson. Martin Oliver also starting. He averages 5.1 points per game. Lima, Ohio, Orion Monford, he averages 10.6 points per game. And also starting number 33, Michael Reeves, he averages 6.2 points per game. Per game. So, for the Wilberforce Bulldogs, it's Darian Riddle, Tony Collins, Isaiah Jones, Jabril Hunter, and Lawan Marshall. For the Central State Marauders, it's Josiah Wilson, Tom Johnson, Oliver Martin, Orion Montford, and Michael Reeves. So the uh, crowd standing across the way. And they're standing over on this side, too. So we're going to have a... So we're ready. Uh, the band ready. Cheerleaders are ready. I hope you're ready because it's going to be a wild and wacky day here at... Beacom Lewis Gym, the Bulldogs, they are coached by Kevin Waters, the Marauders coached by Joseph Price. So sit back and enjoy tonight's game between the Marauders and the and the Bulldogs. Tipping it off, Michael Reeves. And also Lawan Marshall, so here we go. Tip is controlled by the Marauders. Here's Tom Johnson on the far side. He's going to try and drive the lane. Puts it up and can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Wilson. Wilson can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Tony Collins of the well, of the Bulldogs. 1948. Left here in this first half. Just underway here at Beacom Lewis. You have no score. Ball comes over to the near side to Collins. Collins looking inside. We bring it back out. Gets it over to Marshall. Marshall back over. Goes to J- Isaiah Jones. Jones now get it to Riddle. Riddle, top of the key, goes right side. He'll hand off to Collins. Collins going to drive the lane. Dish it down low to Marshall or to, uh, to uh, Jabril Hunter. And Hunter gets the... Uh, Gets the uh, Bulldogs on the board. Here's Montford. Gets it to uh, Montford. Gets it back again. Oliver had a three-pointer for Orion Montford, and it's three-two. Into the front court comes Isaiah Jones. Jones being hounded there by Johnson. Now over to the far side to Marshall. Marshall looking inside. Gets it down inside to Hunter. Hunter's going to drive baseline on Reeves. Turn around, jump side. Batted away by Reeves. Picked up by the Bulldogs. Now top it comes to Riddle. Riddle directing traffic. Five seconds on the shot clock. Kicks it over. They're going to have to shoot it. Fire. Marshall fires up a three. Got it! Lawan Marshall makes it now five to three. As Oliver on the right, left side gets it down. Tried to get it down low to Reeves and uh, it goes out of bounds and it's going to stay with the Marauders. 
So they're going to put 21 seconds on the shot clock. Cheerleaders at both ends of the, of the uh, court tonight, or this afternoon, on this Martin Luther King holiday weekend. Ball comes in to Monford. Monford on the left wing, brings it back out. Being handled there by Riddle. Now over to Johnson on the far side. Johnson looking inside. Johnson's going to drive now. Now pick up. Pick up speed. Kicks it over to the near side. Now here's to Oliver. Oliver, ball taken away. Scramble for it. Riddle's going to be going to hit the deck. He's going to fall over Oliver. Oliver's going to pick up his first foul. And the team's first. So the Bulldogs will inbound it right over here, right next to us. And inbound come, inbound pass comes to Jones. Jones will walk it up into the front court, goes over to the right side to Marshall. Marshall looking inside. He'll bring it back out. Now over to the near side comes to Collins. Shot goes up by Jones, and he drains a three. Isaiah Jones. And it's now 8-3 to three in favor of the Bulldogs. Johnson, top of the key, comes over to... This is down low, right to Reeves, and he can't get the layup to go. He was in mid-flight when he caught the ball, couldn't get it to go. Ball comes over to the right side. Here's a shot by Collins. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Monford of the Marauders. Johnson in the front court, coming across, coming across the line. Now drives left side of the lane, puts it up, can't get it to go. Reeves right there, ball batted around, picked up by the Marauders. They kick it out to Oliver. Oliver over to Wilson. Wilson fires up a three. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Jabril Hunter. Hunter will get it over to Jones. And Jones will get it up as he'll get it back again into the front court with 16.50 remaining here in the first half. Ball goes over to the near side. Goes over to Marshall. Marshall's going to drive and a whistle and a foul. Tom Johnson's going to be called for the foul. That'll be his first team's second. 8-3 8-3 is our score. Wilberforce leading it. So, inbounding it will be Isaiah Jones. Jones gets it in to Marshall. Marshall now over to the far side. It goes to Collins. Collins into the corner. Goes. Now back out. Marshall. Back over to the near side. It comes to Jones. Jones now top of the key. Goes over to Goes over to the left side, almost, ball, almost taken away. As the ball goes out of bounds, it's going to belong to the Marauders. There was a scramble for it. And I couldn't see. It was down under the far end of the court on this side, and I couldn't see. But anyway, the Marauders have it. 8-3 is our score, 16-20 to go. Wilberforce leading it. Ball goes over to the left left side to Oliver. To, now to Reeves, right elbow to Monford. Back over to Oliver. Oliver directing traffic. Oliver's going to drive, stop, puts it up, and got it. Martin Oliver in the books. And it's 8-5. to five. Ball goes all the way down to Marshall. Marshall loses it, picked up by Oliver. Oliver on the fast break. Oliver slicing and dicing to the defense. Now get it back to the cross court. Goes over to Monford. Monford firing up a three. A little too hard. Rebound. Oliver has it. Puts it up on the reverse layup and in. 8-7. This, the, this is going to get wild and wacky here, as you can probably tell. Ball goes over to the top of the key to Jones. Isaiah Jones is going over to the right side now. Jones looking inside, brings it back out, top of the key, comes over to the left side. Ball, he's going to be fouled by Josiah Wilson, his first team's third. And a timeout on the court with the score. The Marauders, or the Bulldogs, eight, and the Marauders, seven, back after this. You're listening to Central State Marauder and Wilberforce Basketball on Jim, Jim City Sports Network. Gross Holler Performance Products is an all-American manufacturer of racing cylinder heads and intake manifolds. From two-time Drag Week winner Jeff Lutz to the winningest bracket champions like Disco Dean Carn, Profiler Performance has become the overwhelming choice of drag racing's best-known name. Profiler Performance offers the absolute best bolt-on performance for cylinder heads and intake, utilizing their own in-house custom casting and CNC machining. For more information, visit ProfilerPerformance.com or find them on Facebook. Profiler Performance, they make power they haven't even used yet. 
Why do you exercise? To look better? To feel better? To drop a few pounds? To train for an event? To defy age? Or to keep your ability to say yes to the things you love to do? Whatever motivates you, G&G Fitness Equipment is here to get you there. Treadmills, ellipticals, rowers, bikes, home gyms, and accessories. We'll pair you with the right equipment, teach you how to use it, and be there every step of your fitness journey. G&G Fitness, your goal is our goal. Back here at Beacon Lewis Gym, 8-7 is our score with 15-24 remaining here in the first half. Eight seven is our score. In ball comes in. And now Marshall has it on the near side. Marshall back out top comes to Collins. Collins now comes over to the near side. Fires up a three by Marshall and he drains it. The one Marshall has six points and it's now eleven to seven in favor of the Bulldogs. Central State shooting thirty three percent. And Wilberforce 50% from the field. Here's Oliver. Oliver gets it over to J- Johnson. Johnson's going to drive the lane. Puts it up and rolls around and out. It picked up by Do- Darian Riddle. Riddle will bring it. We'll get it to uh, J- Jones, and he'll walk it across the line. Ball goes over to the right side. He'll hand off to Collins. Collins being hounded there by Johnson. Now dishes down low. Goes to Hunter, Hunter shot no good, rebound to Reeves of the Marauders. Quick left court comes Oliver, Oliver, right side. It's going to drive the lane, puts it up, can't get it to go. Rebound, Oliver puts it up, back up and in, and he hits the deck hard, but he gets the points. He's got six of the nine, and it's 11 to nine in favor of the Bulldogs. Here's Riddle, Riddle dishes down low to Hunter, Hunter, and he's going to be fouled by Reeves. Reeves going to pick up his first foul. Fourth on the team. That'll send. Can't see the number right away. That's going to send uh, Malik Timmons. Or no, I take that back. It'll be Jabril Hunter at the line. Hunter makes the first of two. He's got three points. Now wholesale changes for the Bulldogs as coming in is Terrence Golston. And also uh, Deion Gaston for the Bulldogs. Second shot goes up and in. And it's now 13-9 coming into the game will be Demarion Johnson for the Bulldogs. 13 to 9 is our score. 14 minutes left in this first half. Just under here at Beacon Lewis Gym as Johnson is slicing and dicing. Here's a slam by Reeves. A nice alley oop from Johnson to Reeves, and it's 13 to 11. The crowd came off their feet on, on came on their feet with that one. Here come the Bulldogs over to the near side. It comes to Marshall. Marshall looking inside. Marshall being hounded there by Wilson. That goes over to the right side. Going to get past him. And puts it up and in. Marshall has eight points, and it's 15 to seven. Johnson loses it. Here comes the here comes the Bulldogs, and a nice alley up on the other side, and a put back up by Marshall. He's got he's got 10, 17 to 11. There's Johnson. Johnson kicks it over to Oliver. Oliver looking inside. He'll back out. Now back over to Johnson. Johnson will set up the offense from there. Johnson, left side. Back over to Wilson, now to Oliver. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Oliver's going to try and drive. Now Pops shoots, and he's going to be fouled. He's going to be fouled by Malik Timmons. Timmons is going to pick up his first foul, and the first on the... Bulldogs, and that's going to send Martin Oliver to the line to shoot two. Oliver, six points on the night. Oliver on the year is a 68.4% free throw shooter, 13 of nine. First shot goes up and in. Now into the game comes uh, Quentin Glaspie and also uh, 
Randall Clarkson. Clarkson had a hell of a game last night. Shot goes up and a little short rebound comes down to Demarion Johnson. Johnson will get it to Malik Timmons and Timmons will walk it up across the court into the front court. 12-39 remaining here in the first half. 17-12. Wilberforce leading it. Here's Timmons. Timmons back over. Shot goes up but no good by Gaston. And rebound comes down to the Marauders. Clarkson into the front court. Marauder student standing across the way as Clark Clarkson into the corner goes to Oliver. Oliver dishes down low to Reeves. Kicks it back out for uh, Clarkson. He can't get the three to go. Rebound comes down to Marshall. Marshall will slow it up. Let everybody go past him. And Marshall goes right side. Puts it up. Batted away by Reeves. And right into the cheering section of the cheerleaders. 11.58 remaining here in the first quarter, first half. Timeout called. A media timeout. We're going to take a timeout, too, with 11.58 remaining here in the first half. It's the Wilberforce Bulldogs, 17, and the Central State Marauders, 12, back after this. Become a donor and believer in the mission of Central State University. Help CSU thrive for years to come. To learn more, go to www.csubelievers.com. Our new funding website is safe, easy to use, and can be easily accessed from any mobile device. Visit www.csubelievers.com. Become a CSU Believer today. Become a donor and believer in the mission of Central State University. A Special Wish Foundation Dayton is the only wish-granting organization in the region granting wishes to local children who are battling for their life against a life-threatening illness. Founded in 1983, a Special Wish Foundation has granted over 1,700 wishes. Find out more about a Special Wish Foundation and how you can help make a very special wish come true. Call 937-223-WISH or log on to a specialwishdayton.org. A Special Wish Foundation Dayton is a recognized 501c3 and all funds raised stay within the local community to support local children. Seventeen to twelve is our score. Wilberforce leading it with eleven fifty-eight remaining here in the first half. We'll have the band for you at the half. The Invincible Marching Marauders. There's one section over there that doesn't have anybody in it, and that's because <laughs> that's going to be for the cheerleaders. Believe me, they don't use that one at all. Ball comes in. This time it comes into Timmons. Timmons out near midcourt. Now it goes over to the right side to Marshall. Marshall will bring it back out. Marshall gets it to Timmons, left elbow. Now it comes over to Gaston. Gaston's going to drive, kicks it out. Now over. Shot goes up and no good. And a whistle and a foul. Looks like it's going to get. No, they're going to call traveling on him. They're going to call traveling on him. So the ball is turned over to the Marauders. Inbound comes to. Let's see who that was. That was uh, Monford. Now they got to get it across the line. Monford now gets it across, and the ball's taken away. The ball batted out of bounds, and it's going to be off of Monford, and it's going to belong to the Bulldogs. Coach uh, Price not happy with that call. Marshall will inbound it for the Bulldogs. They, they lead it by five with 11.31 to go. Marshall inbounds it to Timmons. Timmons tries to drive on Monford, doesn't, brings it back out. There's a long shot by Golston. No good. Rebound down. Shot goes up. No good by Johnson of the Bulldogs. Picked up by the Marauders. Here's Monford. Monford cross court. Tried to get it to uh, Oliver and it's knocked out of bounds by Marshall. Good hustle on the play by Marshall as Tom Johnson's getting ready to come back into the game. Monford's going to sit down. Packed house here at Beacom Lewis today. Clarkson has the ball and he gets into the front court. Now going to come over to the right side. Kicks it over to Oliver on the near side. 
Now here's Glaspie. Glaspie right elbow. Now back over to Oliver. Oliver will set it up. There's a five, shot no good uh, by uh, Johnson as the time as the play, shot clock runs out. As he had to fire it up and he missed everything on that. So the Bulldogs will get it back again as Timmons will bring it up for the visiting Bulldogs. Going over to, to the right side. Timmons. Bring, Timmons being hounded there by Johnson now. Gets it out to Golston. Golston out top of the, out near midcourt. Now he's going to drive. Stops. Drives again on the left side. Stops at the free throw line. Puts it up. No good. Rebound comes down to Gillespie. Gillespie will get it to Johnson as uh, Timmons almost tried to steal it. There's Johnson fires up a little teardrop. It goes in. Tom Johnson. Has his first two of the night, and it's down to a three-point lead for the Bulldogs. 10-10 left in this first half. From a sold-out Beacon Lewis gym. Gaston. Gaston kicks it over to the far side. Goes over to Golston. Golston back out to Marshall. Top of the key. Can now go to the left side. Down, stops at the free throw line. This is down low. Batted away. Golston picks it up. Fires up a shot. Got it. So Terrence Golston in the... In the books. Clark's now nice job uh, by nice little pass to Reeves by Clarkson brought the some of the fans off their feet. And that's gonna send uh, Michael Reeves to the line to shoot two. Reeves on the year is a fifty seven point one percent free throw shooter. First shot goes up and in and out. Foul went up on Golston. That was his first team second. Reeves will get the ball back again. Reeves averages 6.2 points per game. Crowd still coming in. And the second shot goes in. Reeves has three, and it's 19-15 to 15 with 9.39 remaining. As Timmons will bring it up for the Bulldogs. He's being hounded there by Oliver. Almost had a steal, but ball comes. In. I thought there was a 10-second violation, but not. There's a shot for three. Little short rebound comes down to Gaston. Gaston has it taken away by Johnson. Johnson, another spin move. And he's trying to get through two, two uh, Bulldogs. Now gets it to Reeves. Take, take. He was about ready to go out of bounds. He tossed it away. Golston has it. Now here's Timmons. Timmons to the left side. Ball knocked out of bounds by Clarkson. It's going to stay with the Bulldogs. As uh, coming into the game is Josiah Wilson. And sitting down will be Michael Reeves. Fast and furious action here at at Beacon Lewis tonight. Welcomes in to Gaston. Gaston trying to drive on Clarkson. In the paint, turnaround jump shot. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Glaspie. Last week we'll get it to Johnson, and Johnson will bring it up. He's picked up by Timmons about three-quarters of the way. Now he comes over. Johnson's going to drive. Gets it up and in. That is Gillespie gets it. 19-17 with 8.38 remaining here in the first half. Golston on the right side. Golston will hand off to Timmons. Timmons being guarded there by Johnson. Timmons, double team, gets it to uh, Johnson. His shot goes up and no good by Torian Moore. And Moore's going to go to the line to shoot two. Foul's going against Josiah Wilson. That'll be his second, team's fifth. So that's going to send Moore to the line to shoot two. 19-17, Wilberforce leading it, make it 20-17. Wholesale changes coming in for the for the Bulldogs. Back in will be Collins and Riddle, along with Jones and, and Hunter. Montford back into the game for the Marauders. So Torian Moore. Going to go back to the line for the end for the uh, one more shot. Second 
Shot no good. Rebound comes down to Martin Oliver. 20 to 17, a three point lead for the Bulldogs. Ball goes over to the left side. Now here it's Glasby. Glasby kicks it over to Oliver. Oliver's going to drive the lane, loses control of the ball, and it's knocked out of bounds off of Wilberforce. 17 seconds on the shot clock. As they're Here's the uh, inbound pass. Coming out all the way to Oliver out top of the key. Now over to the left side goes to Johnson. Johnson looking inside. Johnson will bring it out top of the key. Now drives the lane. Kicks it over to Glassby. And it's out of timeout is called as the Bulldogs will have it. A little bit of uh, chippiness going on as we're going to have to separate some of the players. One of them is Tony Collins. The other one is Rory and Monford as the uh, things getting a little chippy. Timeout was called. So 7.52 to go. We're going to take a timeout too. Back after this. Hope you enjoyed your meal. And I just want to say He's lucky to have a brother like you. Lucky? Caring for my brother is far from easy. But he's a part of me, like my arms and legs, so I'll be his. No time for tired. Nothing can disable this love. He needs me, but I'm the lucky one, even though I need help now and then. If you're caring for a loved one, visit aarp.org slash caregiving for care guides and community. Support for your strength. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. 20-17 20-17 to 17 is our score. 7.52 remaining here in the first half. Wild affair as the Bulldogs will have the ball as Terrence Golston will inbound it on the far side in the corner. As bringing it up would be Isaiah Jones. Jones into the front court walking across. Here comes Collins. Over to Gold, or, uh, Moore. Into the right corner it goes. Uh, they tried to dish down low. Ball's taken away by the, by the Marauders. Here's Clarkson. Clarkson gets it over to Oliver for three. Got it! <laughs> Oliver ties this bad boy up at 20. Here comes Moore. He puts it up and he's fouled. He'll be at the line to shoot two. See who the foul is on. Foul's going against Orion Monford, his first team six. So timeout on the court, a media timeout called. And we'll be back with more after this timeout. The score, 2020. Back after this. Profiler Performance Products is an all-American manufacturer of racing cylinder heads and intake manifolds. From two-time Drag Week winner Jeff Lutz to the winningest bracket champions like Disco Dean Carn, Profiler Performance has become the overwhelming choice of drag racing's best-known name. Profiler Performance offers the absolute best bolt-on performance for cylinder heads and intake, utilizing their own in-house custom casting and CNC machining. For more information, visit ProfilerPerformance.com or find them on Facebook. Profiler Performance, they make power they haven't even used yet. And now we're going to get the cheerleader challenge as the uh, Bulldogs uh, cheerleaders are doing handstands. Our backflips, I should say. Now let's see if the, the Marauder cheerleaders will do that. There we go. Now we got four, five, six, seven. They're all going to do it. As you can hear the crowd on the first side. That brought the Central State fans off their feet, off their seats, or out of their seats. Wow, what an atmosphere out here tonight between the Bulldogs and the Marauders. As going back to the line, or going to the line will be, uh, Tori and Moore.
So Moore at the line. Shot goes up and in. He's got the first of two. He's one for, or two for three from the line tonight. 21-20 is our score. This is going to be a barn burner all night long. So if you get a chance to watch it on, uh, if you get a chance to watch it on Central State uh, streaming later, oh boy, I tell you what, this is going to be fun. Here come the Marauders, trailing 21-20 as Clarkson brings it across the line. Clarkson will bring it back out, gets it over to Johnson. Johnson over to Oliver. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Oliver gets it to Johnson. Johnson right in front of us. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Velasquez firing up a three. A little too hard rebound. Batted out, and it's going to belong to the Bulldogs as Darian Riddle will pick it up. And he'll bring it up court up with 6.45 left. Ball goes over to the far side. It goes to Jones. Jones back over to Moore on the right side. Now back out top to Riddle. Riddle looking inside. Goes in to the left corner. Goes over to Jones. Jones on the right, uh, left wing now. Brings it back out. The ball goes over to Riddle on the far side. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Ball goes down to Hunter. Hunter shot no good. Rebound comes down to Martin Oliver. Martin Oliver having a heck of a game tonight. Ball comes across. Here's Johnson. Johnson puts it up. Got it to go. Johnson gets his fourth point, and the Marauders lead it to 22-21. Bringing it up will be Jones. Jones into the front court for the, Mar- for the Bulldogs, going over to the left side. He'll hand off, and a whistle, and Tony Collins will step steps on the line and turns the ball back over. Into the game comes DeMond Thomas for the first time, and also Lawan Marshall. Coming in is Joey Williams for the first time. Ball comes in to Clarkson, and Clarkson, uncontested, will walk it across the line. 5.53 left here in this first half. 22-21 Marauders. Trying to win for the second time in a row. Something that hasn't happened all season long. Williams back over to Johnson. Johnson's going to drive. Now stops. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Going to pick up. A little scoop. Try to scoop it up. Here's Monford. Monford puts it up. Got it for three. Five point or a four point lead for the Marauders now. 25 21 with 520 left here in this first half. Over to the left side. It comes to Collins. Collins going to drive. Uh, stops. Kicks back out to Riddle. Riddle looking inside. Cross court. It goes over to Jones. Jones puts it up. Can't get it to go, but he'll be at the line for two. Foul's going against Orion Montford. That'll be his second, team seventh. So the Bulldogs will be in the one and one bonus for with this uh, free throw. But it'll be t- he'll be shooting two. First shot is up and in by Isaiah Jones. He has four points. Back into the game comes Michael Reeves. Going back to the line is Isaiah Jones. 25-22, a three-point lead. And it's 25-23 as Jones makes both of them. He's got five points with 5.08 to go. A two-point lead for the Marauders. Welcome to cross over to Joe, Joey Williams. Williams now gets it over to Clarkson. Clarkson will drive. Drives left side, pulls it up. Shot, no good. Rebound, clap. Glasby and he stepped on the line. It's going to belong to the Bulldogs. Now they're having a little uh, contest with the other, uh, with Central State and the Bulldog uh, fans. Here comes the Marauder, or here come the Bulldogs. Bringing it up will be Isaiah Jones. Jones goes over to the right side, picked up by Johnson. Now gets it out to, to Marshall. Marshall's going to drive on Clarkson. He'll hand off to Collins. Collins to Riddle. Riddle's going to be called for the offensive foul. So Riddle picks up his first, just the team's third of the half. As Riddle just went right over Clarkson. Clarkson gets it into the front court. Clarkson. Now over to Glasby. Fakes a three. 
Now kicks it back out. Now over to Johnson on the near side. Johnson out near midcourt. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Johnson's going to drive the lane. Kicks it over to Reeves and uh, a blocking foul against the Bulldogs. That's going to be on Tony Collins. That'll be his first, team's fourth. A non-shooting foul, so Tom Johnson will inbound it underneath the Central State basket with 4.08 to go. 11 seconds on the shot clock. Now they, now they put 20 seconds on the shot clock. It's inbound to Glassby. Fires up a long three. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Reeves battle for it. Picked up by Riddle. Riddle will hold on to it. Now gets it up to Collins. Collins tried to get it over to uh, to Thomas. And Thomas had his had, had, or had it picked off by uh, Glassby. 3.50 left here in this first half. 25-23. Central State leading it. Ball goes over to Clarkson on the far side. Clarkson looking inside. Clarkson... Now top of the key, drive, tries to drive, drive uh, right side. Now gets it over to Tom Johnson. Johnson, little spin move, uh, turn, uh, fadeaway jump shot, no good. Glassby right there for the putback. He's got four, and it's a four-point lead for the Marauders, 27-23. Darian Riddle into the front court for the Bulldogs, wearing the black jerseys with neon green numbers. There's a shot by Riddle from the right side, no good. Rebound comes down to Johnson. Johnson was ready to throw it baseball style down to somebody that decided not to. There's Johnson into the front court. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Comes over to the right side. Dishes down to Glasby. Glasby drives and an offensive foul going against Glasby. I think. No. Foul's going. Foul's going against. Devon Thomas, that'll be his first and the team's fifth as Terrence Golston comes back into the lineup for the as the shot clock will go down to 20, so it's non-shooting foul. The Bulldogs have five fouls. And what are we going to have? A timeout called on the court with 2.53 to go here in the first half. It's the Marauders 27 and the Bulldogs 23 back after this. Why do you exercise? To look better? To feel better? To drop a few pounds? To train for an event? To defy age? Or to keep your ability to say yes to the things you love to do? Whatever motivates you, G&G Fitness Equipment is here to get you there. Treadmills, ellipticals, rowers, bikes, home gyms, and accessories. We'll pair you with the right equipment, teach you how to use it, and be there every step of your fitness journey. G&G Fitness. Your goal is our goal. 27-23 is our score at a jam-packed Beacom Lewis gym on the campus of Central State University. You can't put anybody anywhere else in this gym. They have people sitting just to the uh, to the left of the band up in the upper deck, and then uh, behind us it's completely full too. So 27-23 is our score. Marauders leading it with 2.53 left here in this first half. We'll be back here again on Wednesday night when Wayne State comes in to take on the uh, take on the uh, Marauders. And we'll be over at Wilberforce on February the 5th on senior night. So we hope that you uh, will come out and enjoy Marauder and Bulldog basketball. It's going to be a good time. Johnson inbounds it, gets it into Reeves. Reeves puts it up and in. Mike Reeves, five points for him, and it's 29-23 with 2.45 left here in this first half. Marauders pulling away a little bit, leading by six. There's a shot going up for three by Devon Thomas. And Thomas in the books and cuts the lead in half, 29-26. Johnson into the front court, has to hurry it up. Now does gets it across. Thompson steps it over to Glassby, back to Johnson. Cross court over to Williams. Williams drives baseline, puts up the shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Thomas. 
Now Jones will bring it across for the Mara- for the Bulldogs over to the far side to Marshall. Marshall to, to Golston. Golston looking inside. Comes over to the left elbow. Now back over to the right elbow to Marshall. Marshall's going to drive on. There's a shot for from Jones for three. And we're tied up. Isaiah Jones gets his eighth point, and we're tied at 29 with 1.48 to go. Johnson into the front court. Johnson drives, kicks it over to Reeves. Reeves loses it out of bounds, and it's going to go back over to the Bulldogs. Bulldogs down by six at one time, 29-23, but they've got a couple of threes that pulled it back in. Ball coming up is uh, brought up by Isaiah Jones. Jones into the front court for the Mar- for the Bulldogs. 20 seconds on the shot clock. 132 and they left in the half. John, here comes Thomas for three. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Gillespie. Gillespie will hand off to Johnson and Johnson will walk it up with a buck 20 to go. Johnson up the right left side. Finally gets it across being guarded there by Gaston. There's Johnson. Johnson going to drive and loses it picked up by Clarkson. Clarkson's going to drive stops at the free throw line back out to Johnson. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Johnson's going to drive. Puts it up. Got it to go. Got it to fall. Tom Johnson six points on the night for him and it's 31-29 with less than a minute to go here in the half. Deion Gaston almost didn't have it. Shot off the glass by Gaston. And it goes in. We're tied again. Gaston's first two. It's tied at 31. Here comes Johnson. 33 seconds left. Johnson's going to drive the lane. Puts it up. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Glassby right there for the putback. No good. Rebound comes down to Golston. Golston on the move. Golston on the fly. Here comes Marshall. Marshall has it stripped by Clarkson. And it goes out of bounds. And it goes off of, it goes off of Marshall. And it's going to belong to the going to belong to the Marauders. Timeout is called. Kevin Waters is not happy at all. A 30-second timeout. We see uh, Reggie Wilson over there from the ABC 22 and Fox 45. 21.5 seconds left. Coming up tomorrow night here on the Gem City Sports Network. going to be high school basketball as the Northmont Thunderbolts will take on the Chaminade Julian Eagles from Chaminade Julian High School in downtown Dayton. It'll be boys' night out. And then on Wednesday night, we're back here as Wayne State comes in to take on the Marauders. Once again, we'll be back out at uh, Wilberforce University on February 5th for a men's and women's doubleheader. Come on out and enjoy some good basketball here in Wilberforce, Ohio. Marauders will inbound it on right in front of their cheerleaders as Orion Montford will without as the Bulldogs will put some pressure on the Marauders. Shot clock is off. 21.5 seconds left on the game clock. Montford looking for somebody to get it to. Timeout is called by Montford as he couldn't get it uh, couldn't get it to go. Couldn't get it in. And Joseph Price is we're going to take a 30-second timeout. Back after this, you're listening to the to the Central State Marauders on the Gem City Sports. Become Network. a donor and believer in the mission of Central State University. Help CSU thrive for years to come. To learn more, go to www.csubelievers.com. Our new funding website is safe, easy to use, and can be easily accessed from any mobile device. Visit www.csubelievers.com. Become a CSU believer today. Back there at Central State speaking with Jim. We're tied at 31 with 21 and a half seconds left. The Marauders will have it underneath the Bulldog basket. Shot clock is off. Sold out crowd here at Beacon Lewis. Standing where they're not supposed to be standing. Ball comes into Clarkson. Clarkson needs to get it up in a hurry. Now gets it over to Johnson. Johnson walks across the line. Johnson directing traffic. Ten seconds left. Now goes over to the left side. Going to drive the lane. Puts it up. Got it to go. Tom Johnson has eight points. And a shot for three. No good by the Bulldogs. As uh, 
Terrence Golston shot it up from half court and didn't go. And we are at halftime with your score, Central State Marauders 33 and the Wilberforce Bulldogs 31. We will be back with a band right after this timeout. You're listening to Central State Marauder Basketball on the Gem City Sports Network. A Special Wish Foundation Dayton is the only wish-granting organization in the region granting wishes to local children who are battling for their life against a life-threatening illness. Founded in 1983, a Special Wish Foundation has granted over 1,700 wishes. Find out more about a Special Wish Foundation and how you can help make a very special wish come true. Call 937-223-WISH or log on to a specialwishdayton.org. A Special Wish Foundation Dayton is a recognized 501c3 and all funds raised stay within the local community to support local children. A Special Wish Foundation Dayton is the only wish... Man, do I love card night. You ready, boys? You got a king? Go, fish dad! Oh, come on! (laughs) This is WWE superstar Titus O'Neil. It only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today. Learn more at 877-4DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Profiler Performance Products is an all-American manufacturer of racing cylinder heads and intake manifolds. From two-time Drag Week winner Jeff Lutz to the winningest bracket champions like Disco Dean Carn, Profiler Performance has become the overwhelming choice of drag racing's best-known name. Profiler Performance offers the absolute best bolt-on performance for cylinder heads heads and intake, utilizing their own in-house custom casting and CNC machining. For more information, visit ProfilerPerformance.com or find them on Facebook. Profiler Performance, they make power they haven't even used yet. Why do you exercise? To look better? To feel better? To drop a few pounds? To train for an event? To defy age? or to keep your ability to say yes to the things you love to do. Whatever motivates you, G&G Fitness Equipment is here to get you there. Treadmills, ellipticals, rowers, bikes, home gyms, and accessories. We'll pair you with the right equipment, teach you how to use it, and be there every step of your fitness journey. G&G Fitness, your goal is our goal. Marauder's Dance Group just uh, coming off the court. Here at Beacon Lewis Gym, as the crowd will sit back down, uh, at least some of them will. <laughs> Here's the unofficial stats here for the uh, for the first half. Tori and Moore has two points. Leon Gaston has two. Uh, Isaiah Jones has eight. Jabril Hunter four. Lo- Lawan uh, Marshall has 10, Terrence Golston has 2, and Damon Thomas has 3. For the Central State Marauders, Tom Johnson has 8, Martin Oliver has 10, Orion Montford 6, Quentin Glassby 4, and Michael Reeves has 5. Now let's turn it over to the uh, Invincible Marching Marauders.
Become a donor and believer in the mission of Central State University. Help CSU thrive for years to come. To learn more, go to www.csubelievers.com. Our new funding website is safe, easy to use, and can be easily accessed from any mobile device. Visit www.csubelievers.com. Become a CSU Believer today. Become a donor and believer in the mission of Central State University. A Special Wish Foundation Dayton is the only wish-granting organization in the region granting wishes to local children who are battling for their life against a life-threatening illness. Founded in 1983, a Special Wish Foundation has granted over 1,700 wishes. Find out more about a Special Wish Foundation and how you can help make a very special wish come true. Call 937-223-WISH or log on to a specialwishdayton.org. A Special Wish Foundation Dayton is a recognized 501c3 and all funds raised stay within the local community to support local children. Back here at a very, very noisy Beacon Lewis Gym. We're at halftime with your score. Central State 33, Wilberforce 31. Here's the official totals for uh, Wilberforce. Jones has eight. Hunter has four. Marshall 10. Terrence Golson has two. Terry Moore has two. Um, Deion Gaston has three. Uh, Devon Thomas has three for a total of 31. 10 of 25 from the line, or 10, 10 of 25 from the field for 40%. 5 of 10 from uh, three-point range. And uh, they are 6 of 8 from the free-throw line. For the Central State Marauders, Tom Johnson has 8 points, Martin Oliver 10. Orion Monford has 6, Michael Reeves 5. And Quentin Kalaski has 4 for a total of 33. They're 14 of 30 for 46.7 percent. Three of eight from the three-point line and two of four from the field or from the free throw line. The uh, score's been tied three times. There's three late lead changes, so we're going to take a break. Get back. Get ready to fasten the seat belts because this is going to be a wild ride here in this fourth or this uh, second half. Back after this. I want to thank my mommy for loving me so much. For, for taking, taking me to the doctor when I broke my foot. For leaving me alone when I wanted to be alone. And, and now, now, as a grown-up, I'm thankful for being able to take care of you, my dear mom. For taking you to your therapies. For understanding that sometimes you simply want to be alone. Roles change without us noticing. That's why AARP gives you the information to provide even better care for your loved one. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. Profiler Performance Products is an all-American manufacturer of racing cylinder heads and intake manifolds. From two-time Drag Week winner Jeff Lutz to the winningest bracket champions like Disco Dean Karn, Profiler Performance has become the overwhelming choice of drag racing's best-known name. Profiler Performance offers the absolute best bolt-on performance for cylinder heads and intake, utilizing their own in-house custom casting and CNC machining. For more information, visit ProfilerPerformance.com or find them on Facebook. Profiler Performance, they make power they haven't even used yet. Back here at Beacon Blue's Gym, they're dancing in the aisleways tonight. Just having a great time out here. Just sold out. Beacon Blue's Gym, they're dancing behind us, they're dancing on the, down here on the floor. <laughs> Pretty, pretty interesting, pretty great out here. So, we're just seconds away from getting started here in the second half. The Bulldogs will have the ball to start the second half. So, sit back, fasten your seat belts, because, like I said, this is going to be a wild ride here this afternoon, here in the second half. 33 31, Marauders lead it. And the Bulldogs will have the ball on the far side, right in front of the CSU students. 
They are standing in places they aren't supposed to stand. <laughs> so here we go. Inbounding it will be Tyler Hopkins. So we have Hopkins and uh, Jones, Gaston. And I couldn't see the other guys. We'll get the Central State here in a minute. Inbound comes to Jones. Jones comes over to the near side to Gaston. Gaston being picked up by Monford. Gaston now gets it over to Hopkins. Hopkins now to Jones. Jones down into the post. Goes to Hunter. Back to Hunter. Or shot for shot on the side. No good. Rebound. <laughs> Monford was, or Martin Oliver was standing outside. <laughs> Uh, out of bounds, and he uh, he tried to get back in real quick to get to the ball, but uh, Hopkins will inbound it, gets it in to Hunter. Now they move the ball around. Here's Hopkins in the left corner. We'll bring it back out. Now he's going to take a three and drain it. <laughs> Tyler Hopkins, three points for him. Here come the Marauders. Johnson into the front court. John, Johnson is going to drive. Kicks it over to, to uh, Reeves. Reeves gets his seventh point. And it's 35-34. Central State. Here comes Jones into the front court. Gets it over to the near side to Tyler uh, Hopkins. Now down low. Shot goes up and it's no good by Jabril Hunter. He's fouled. It looks like it might be on Reeves. It is on Reeves. That will be his... Uh, the second foul, team's first of the half. Hunter at the line, shooting two. He's two for two from the line tonight already. First shot, no good. Off the back of the rim. 35-34 with 18-49 remaining here in the half. In the game. Or you should say Regulation. Crowd coming alive, second shot goes up and rolls around and in. That is 35 apiece. Here comes Johnson. Johnson gets it over to Oliver. Oliver looking in. Out near midcourt being picked up by Hopkins. Now gets it to Johnson. Johnson comes over to the near side. Johnson looking for, picks up his dribble, gets it out to Oliver. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Oliver is going to drive the lane, puts it up off the glass and in. Martin Oliver, 12 points for him. And it's 37-35, going seesaw back and forth. Down low, it goes to Hunter. Hunter shot no good, rebound to, to Reeves. And the Marauders control. All the way down, shot goes up. Uh, or Johnson tried to do an alley-oop to either Wilson or Reeves, and it didn't work. Ball's knocked away, picked up by Johnson. Johnson on the move. Here's the pass break. Johnson gets it to Oliver. Oliver underneath the basket. As he makes one with Reeves there. Batted away a couple of times by the Bulldogs. I think that was uh, Malik Timmons that did that. He knocked it away a couple of times, a couple of blocks. Dorian Riddle coming off the bench now. He, the ball goes over to the far side to Hopkins. Hopkins is going to drive a little scoop shot. No good. He's fouled. He'll be at the line. Foul's going against Reeves. That'll be his third, team second. 37-35 with 17-31 left. And Hopkins will go to the line to shoot two. Hopkins did not play in that first half. Shot goes up and good. He's got four points. Darian Riddle coming in as Gillespie comes in for the Marauders. Reeves will sit down as well as uh, Jabril Hunter. Hopkins back at the line. 37-36. He'll try and tie this up. Second shot goes up and rattles around through and goes through. Hit the front rim, back rim, and fell through. 37 apiece here with 17-25. Left as Johnson gets double teams, gets it over to Monford. Monford's going to drive baseline. Stops, puts it up. No good rebound picked up by the 
Bulldogs, and that was uh, Hopkins. Hopkins to get it to Riddle. Riddle under the front court. Gets it over to Jones for three. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Oliver. Oliver will bring it up for the Marauders. We're tied at 37. Now Oliver back again has it. He gets it over to Johnson. Johnson to the right side. Johnson. Now over to Wilson. Wilson stops at the free throw line. Puts it up. No good. And a whistle and a foul going against Isaiah Jones. That'll be his first. Team's first. That's going to send Josiah Wilson to the line to shoot two. Josiah on the year is an 80% free throw shooter, four or five on the year. 16.50 left in this first half, or second half. Shot goes up, no good. He'll get a second one. People standing all over the place. You cannot find, you cannot buy a seat tonight. Second shot goes up and no good. Rebound comes down. Ball taken away by a, by the Bulldogs. Here comes Gaston. Gaston's going to drive the lane, puts it up, by off the glass, and get it to, gets it to go. Gaston four points, and it's back to a two-point Bulldog lead. Johnson being hounded there by Timmons. Finally gets it across the line. Ball knocked away, picked up by the Bulldogs. as a foul going against Johnson as he hooked. Reached in and fouled Isaiah Jones. That'll be his second, team's third. Thirty-nine, thirty-seven is our score. Bulldogs leave it. They have the ball. Over to the far side to Hopkins. Hopkins is going to drive the lane now. Denied there by Oliver. Gets it to Timmons. Timmons goes left side of the elbow. The end of the corner goes to. Hopkins can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Oliver of the Marauders. They'll bring it up into the front court with 16.05 left in the second half. Oliver. Oliver drives. Brings it back out, and he's going to be called for the travel. He picked up his pivot foot. 15.57 left. We're going to have a timeout here in a minute. As the official is going to... Uh, Timeout on the court. With 15.57 left, it's the Bulldogs 39 and the Marauders 37 back after this. Why do you exercise? To look better? To feel better? To drop a few pounds? To train for an event? To defy age? Or to keep your ability to say yes to the things you love to do? Whatever motivates you, G&G Fitness Equipment is here to get you there. Treadmills, ellipticals, rowers, bikes, home gyms, and accessories. We'll pair you with the right equipment, teach you how to use it, and be there every step of your fitness journey. G&G Fitness, your goal is our goal. Back here at Central State University, it's the Marauders trailing as uh, we're getting serenaded by the student section down on the other side. Not too much on this side, though. But anyway, 39-37 is our score with 15-57 left here in this second half. Coming, coming up tomorrow night, we'll have high school basketball for you as the Northmont Thunderbolts. The boys will take on the Chaminade Julian Eagles from downtown Dayton. Tip-off set for 7.30. Have it for you right here on Radio1.GemCitySports.com. Then on Wednesday night, we'll be back out here at Central State as Wayne State will come calling. 7, thir- or 7 o'clock tip-off. And then Friday night, we'll be at the pit at Oakwood High School as the Brookville Blue Devils will take on the Oakwood Lumberjacks. All for you here on the Gem City Sports Network this week. Inbounding it will be Isaiah Jones for the Bulldogs. A little full court pressure by the Marauders. As Hopkins gets the inbound back pass, now he loses it, picked up by Timmons. Ball knocked away and picked up by, that was by Isaiah Jones. Now Hopkins has it near midcourt. Gets it over to Timmons out in the middle of the circle. Goes over to the left side to, to, to uh, Hopkins. Hopkins looking inside. And this is down to the left corner to Timmons. Timmons will bring it back out. 
Five seconds on the shot clock. Timmons drives, puts it up, can't get it to go. Rebound Johnson. Johnson into the front court. That's being fouled there by... As uh, Dion Gaston... It's called for the foul. And guess and we had a little bit of tension going on here as with uh, Johnson being fouled. There's this, Johnson will inbound it. I think uh, I think Gaston went over to see if he was okay, and that's when things got a little out of hand. Inbound comes to Gillespie. Gillespie's going to drive, loses it, picks it back up. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Gillespie's little hook shot goes up and in. <laughs> Quinn Gillespie, six points for him. Full court pressure as the ball comes over to Hopkins as he gets it across the court. Here's shot or here's Riddle to the near side to Hopkins. Hopkins back out top to Jones. Jones fires up a three and drains it. Isaiah Jones. Has 11, and it's 42-39, Bulldogs. Johnson into the front court. Now double teamed, and a whistle, and he traveled with the ball. Johnson not too happy. A timeout. Let's see, we've got uh, Terrence Golston coming into the game for the, Mar- for the Bulldogs as Tyler Hopkins will sit down. This is a... Very heated rivalry as Clarks, Clarkson comes back into the game. Wilson will sit down. On the other side, as the ball comes in to Jones, Isaiah Jones will into the front court. Jones directing traffic, gets it over to the near side to Timmons. Timmons being guarded there by Clarkson. Now Glastry picks him up. Now Timmons is going to try and drive the ball knocked away. It goes right to Riddle. He'll get it out to Golston. Golston, top of the key, seven seconds out left. Inside it goes to Timmons. There's no, or uh, Jones puts it up and got it to fall right at the buzzer. He's got uh, 13 and it's 44 39. Clarkson gets it over to Johnson. Johnson looking inside. Johnson will hold on to it. Now cross court over to Oliver. Oliver now he's going to drive the baseline. Gets about to Glasby for three. A little too hard. Rebound about picked up by Jones of the and a whistle on the foul going against Orion Monford. That's going to be his third. Him and Reeves have three fouls each. That's the fourth team foul. 44-39, Bulldogs. Inbounding it will be Terrence Golston on the far side. He's John with somebody over there. Talking to somebody in the crowd. And he gets it into Jones. Jones into the front court. Calling out the play. Then hounded there by Johnson. And last week tried to seal him off. There's Timmons on the left side. Timmons. Left wing will bring it back out. Now, here comes Gaston. Gaston drives, puts it up off the glass, and gets it to fall. Deion Gaston, he has six points. 46-39, this is the biggest lead of the night for the Bulldogs. Oliver drives, puts it up, got it to go, count the basket and one. That was going at Dorian Riddle. That'll be his uh, second, team's four, uh, third. That's going to send Oliver to the line for the end one. Oliver is one for two from the line tonight. 46-41. Going to try and cut it to a four-point lead and no good. Rebound comes down to Golston. Golston will get it over to Timmons. Timmons up the left side in a hurry. But now it's slowed up by Clarkson. Here comes Timmons. Timmons drives the lane, kicks it back out, and a whistle and a traveling call against Timmons. 
And the Marauders will have it on the far side. People standing in the lower sections on the far side. Glad you can join us here on the Gem City Sports Network. We cover both Wilberforce and Central State. Ball comes across to Montford. Montford gets back over to Oliver. Oliver being hounded here by Timmons. Out near big court. Oliver's going to drive. Loses the control of it. Now into the corner it goes. Shot for three. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Oliver puts it up, and he's fouled. Fouls going against... Going against Malik Timmons. That is his second, team's fourth. Non-shooting foul. And back into the game comes... Lawan Marshall. Timmons will sit down. Marauders will have the ball underneath their own basket with 12.35 remaining in the in regulation. <coughs> Johnson has to get it in. Gets it all the way out to Clarkson. Clarkson on to the right side to Gillespie. Gillespie's going to drive the lane. Puts it up. Got it to go. Count the basket and one. <laughs> Glassby gets his eighth point. We have to see who the foul is on. I didn't see. As Glassby going back to the line, foul is on Golston. That'll be his second. Shot goes up. No good by Glassby as Oliver comes down and hits hard. And a whistle, and what, what do we got here? Foul's going against Martin Oliver. That'll be his second, team's fifth. Wilberforce will have it underneath the Central State basket. They lead it by three, 46-43. 12-28 remaining here in the second half. Ball comes in to Jones. Jones on, or Gaston, Gaston. Kicks it back out. Here's a shot for three by Jones and drains it. Isaiah Jones, another three. He's got 18 on the night, or no, 16 on the night. 49-43. Clarkson drives, kicks it over to the left side to Monford. Monford in the corner, kicks it back out over to Johnson. Johnson's going to drive the lane, puts up the shot, rims out. Rebound comes down to Golston. Golston will get it to Jones. All the way up comes to Gaston. Gaston stops, pops, puts it up, no good. Rebound, scramble for it, and a jump ball. It's going to belong to the Marauders. Reeves getting set to come back in as Johnson's kind of hobbling a little bit. Reeves in. And he's kind of... As timeout is called on the court with 11.47 left. Here in the second half, it's the Bulldogs 49 and the Marauders 43 back after this. A Special Wish Foundation Dayton is the only wish-granting organization in the region granting wishes to local children who are battling for their life against a life-threatening illness. Founded in 1983, a Special Wish Foundation has granted over... 1700 wishes find out more about a special wish foundation and how you can help make a very special wish come true call 937-223-WISH or log on to a special wish dayton.org a special wish foundation dayton is a recognized 501c3 and all funds raised stay within the local community to support local children Back here at a sold out Beacon Lewis gym. Tune in to uh, ABC 22 tonight and Fox 45, and you'll see the crowd that we had here. They are all, they're standing, and as a matter of fact, the cheerleaders went out and um, the cheerleaders went out and they were uh, doing backflips and uh, they, they were in line. The Wilberforce cheerleaders came out and joined them. Tony Collins back into the game for the uh, Bulldogs. It'll be Clarkson, Reeves, Oliver, 
Gillespie and Montford out for the Marauders. They will have it right in front of the Wilberforce cheerleaders and Bulldogs will be going to put on a little bit of a press. Ball comes into glass or to Clarkson. They'll get it over to Montford. Now back over to Clarkson. Clarkson in. They're bringing into the front court with just a couple of seconds left before the 10 second count. There's Clarkson's going to drive the lane. A little scoop shot each fouled. And he'll be at the line for two. Foul's going against Collins. That'll be his second, team fifth. With uh, Randall Clarkson going to the line to shoot two. Clarkson on the year, 62.5% free throw shooter. He's five of eight. Shot goes up and in. Dorian Riddle back into the game and sitting down will be Terrence Golston. We'll have these guys on the 5th of February. They will take on Harris Stowe. Second shot goes up and in. For Clarkson, he's got three, or he's got two. Ball comes in and Riddle has it. He'll bring it up court. Riddle to the right side. Four-point lead for the Bulldogs. Now over to the left side. He'll hand off. He'll go to Collins. Collins right side. Collins stops. Pops for three. Got it. Tony Collins gets his first three points, and it's 52-45 with 11:04 remaining here in the in regulation. Ball into the front court comes Clarkson. Being picked up there by by uh, Gaston. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Gaston stopped at the free throw line, picks it up, gets it over to Montford for three. In and out. Rebound comes down to, to Riddle. Riddle. Get it over to Jones. Jones now over to the near side to Gaston. Gaston's going to drive, puts it up, kicks it back out. Here's the shot for three. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Montford of the Marauders. 52-45, a seven-point lead for Wilberforce. Here comes Clarkson. Clarkson will spin move at the top of the key. Gets it over to Oliver. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Now to Reese. Back over to Oliver. Oliver right wing. Directing traffic now. He's going to drive the lane. And kicks it back out this time. Clarkson fires up a long three. Way off the mark. And it goes out of bounds. And he's going to be serenaded by the Wilberforce fans behind us. Tom Johnson back into the game as Montford will sit down. 10.02 left here in this second half. Huge crowd here today. Probably triple in size from yesterday. Here's Riddle gets the inbound pass. Now it's, there it comes Jones. Jones into the right corner. It goes to Marshall. Back out top to Jones. Jones. 9.51 left. Calling out the play. Over to the near side. Marshall. Right elbow. Into the right corner. Now back out to Marshall. Marshall stops. Pops for three. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Oliver. Oliver. Get it to Johnson. These two teams pretty much evenly matched. It's Clarkson. Left elbow. Dishes down low. Shot by Reeves. No good. Way off the mark. Rebound comes up. Oliver. Oliver had to put back, but couldn't get it to go. That was going against Jones. That'll be his uh, second, team sixth, make it their seventh. That's going to send Martin Oliver to the line to shoot two. Oliver is one for three from the line today. Needs these to get these, get them a little closer to the Bulldogs. Oliver, first shot goes up and off the right, off the left side. Back into the game comes Torian Moore and also for the Bulldogs and also uh, Josiah Wilson for the Marauders. Second shot by Oliver goes in. Six point lead for Wilberforce. They bring the ball up. Riddle into the front court, going over to uh, Jones. Jones right side, 
Now down to Riddle. To the right side to Jones. Fires up a three. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Johnson. Johnson will slow it up. And with Johnson from the free throw line. Puts it up. Can't get it to go. Rebound comes down to Gaston. Gaston will get it up to Collins. Collins over to the right side, left side. Now ball, Gaston, as the ball goes out of bounds, it's going to belong to the Marauders. Here comes Gaston. Gaston into the front court, goes over to Johnson. Johnson back over to Gaston. Or Clarkson, I'm saying. Clark. Oliver for three and drains it. Oliver having a great game tonight. He's got 18 points already. And to the left side it goes. Now bring, they bring it back out. Riddle. Right elbow. Kicks it over to Jones. Now into the corner. It goes to Collins. Collins drives underneath. Ball batted away and it's out of bounds. It's going to stay with the... Uh, going to go over to the Marauders. As uh, Kevin Waters is talking to one of the officials here. 8.06 left. Maybe a time up. Maybe a time out coming up next time out or next stoppage. Clarkson into the front court. Clarkson now gets it over to Wilson. Back to Clarkson. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Clarkson's going to try and drive. He had a heck of a game yesterday. Here's Wilson's shot. Goes up, no good. Rebound comes down to Gaston of the Bulldogs. Ball knocked away, picked up by Johnson. Johnson down to down to uh, Wilson, and he slams it home. 52-51, a one-point lead. A one-point lead for the for the Bulldogs. Here's Jones drives the lane, kicks it back out. Shot goes up for three, in and out, no good. Rebound, battle four, picked up by the Marauders. Reeves has it, and now we're going to have a whistle and a pushing foul going against Dion Ga- Gaston. Is he? A timeout on the court with 7:08 left in this one. It's 52-51, Bulldogs back after this. Hey, Dr. Phil here. You know, I help people solve difficult problems every day, but one problem has me stumped, childhood hunger. Nearly 16 million children in America struggle with it. Luckily, the Feeding America network of local food banks collects surplus food, giving hope to hungry children and their families. But they need your help. Join me in supporting Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Profiler Performance Products is an all-American manufacturer of racing cylinder heads and intake manifolds. From two-time Drag Week winner Jeff Lutz to the winningest bracket champions like Disco Dean Karn, Profiler Performance has become the overwhelming choice of drag racing's best-known name. Profiler Performance offers the absolute best bolt-on performance for cylinder heads and intake, utilizing their own in-house custom casting and CNC machining. For more information, visit ProfilerPerformance.com or find them on Facebook. Profiler Performance, they make power they haven't even used yet. Back here at a very loud Deacon Lewis Gym. 708 remaining here in this one. 52-51, 52-51, Bulldogs lead it. Right now, the Marauders are shooting 48 or 43.8%. The, Mar- uh, the Bulldogs 40.5%. Bulldogs are 9 of 20 from uh, th- the three-point line or th- three-point range. And the Marauders are just 4 of 14. Oliver at the line. Shot no good. Rebound comes down to the Bulldogs. Bringing it up will be Jones. Into the front court. Calling out the play. Seven minutes left. Bulldogs into the corner it goes. Turn around jump shot no good by Thomas. And rebound comes down to the Marauders. Trailing by one. 6.48 left. Clarkson on the far side. Clarkson had four threes last night. Hasn't 
Hasn't got a basket yet tonight. He's got a couple of points, though. Here's Oliver, left, out, left elbow. Gets down to Reeves, and it's knocked away. And scramble for it underneath the basket, picked up by the Bulldogs. And now here's the, Wilson's going to be called for the foul. Wilson's going to pick up his third foul. Sixth on the team. Coach Price not very happy. Or As the Bulldogs will inbound it just in front of the in front of the uh, right by Coach Price. Riddle will inbound it, gets it into Jones. Jones walks it across. Bulldogs lead by one. Coming up to the right side. The hands off this time to Golston. Golston top of the key now. Drives left side, gets it over to uh, Hopkins. Hopkins will bring it back out. Hopkins, top of the key, and a whistle and an offensive foul going against two. Going against Darian Riddle. Away from the ball. That'll be the 18th foul on the, on the uh, Bulldogs. So Clarkson will inbound it to Johnson for the Marauders. They trail by one with 6.05 left. Johnson directing traffic, coming over here to Coach Price to get to play. Now gets it to Oliver. Oliver, top of the key, over to the left side to Johnson. Johnson fakes a three. Now bring, goes across court to Clarkson. Now to Oliver, to Johnson. Johnson fires up a three. A little too hard. Rebound comes down to Riddle of the Bulldogs. All the way down court. It comes to Thomas. Thomas puts it up and out, off the glass and in. Here's a shot by Owens or uh, Wilson. No good. Picked up by the Bulldogs. It's Jones will slow things down. In the, out near midcourt. A three point lead for the Bulldogs. Now Hopkins on the left side. 11 seconds on the shot clock. He comes up. Top of the key, fires up a long three, in and out, rebound Reeves, batted away, picked up by Reeves. Here comes, as we have a foul, and going to go out of bounds off of the Bulldogs. And Montford coming back in as Owen, or Wilson will sit down. 5.03 left, one more media timeout. Left in this one. Here's Clarkson on the far side. Clarkson, top of the key now. Goes over to the right side. Monford fires up a three. No good, and he's fouled. He'll be at the line for three. Getting the foul would be Devon Thomas. That'll be his second foul. Team's ninth. So Owen or uh, Wilson will go to the line to shoot three. 0 for 2 tonight from the line. He just got two points, and that was a slam. So he has a chance to tie this thing up with 4.50 remaining here in the second half. First shot off the back of the rim and out. 54-51. Monfort gets this ball back again. Second shot goes up, and this time it goes in. He's one for one for four from the line then. I try to go two for five. Second shot or third shot goes up and in and out, no good. Rebound comes down to Thomas. Thomas will get it to Jones. Jones over to Hopkins. Hopkins gets it up. Now gets it to Golston. Golston right in front of us. Picked up by Monford. 18 seconds on the shot clock, playing time. Golston kicks it over to Jones on the left wing. Now the riddle over to the right, left side. It's shot for three. No good. Rebound picked up by the Bulldogs. Ball comes out to Riddle. And now over to the Golston. Puts it up off the glass. No good. Rebound Reeves. Reeves will get it to Gaston. Gaston on the fast break. Fast break. Going to stop in the middle of the lane and travels with it. And turns the ball back over. Two-point lead with 4-10 left. 
Back into the game comes Jabril Hunter for the Bulldogs. And also Lawan Marshall back into the game. Hunter will inbound it for the for the Bulldogs. 4-10 and counting as Jones will bring it up into the front court, come over to the near side. Comes over to next to Kevin Waters. Gets this play. Now goes over to the far side. Ball almost taken away by Glaspie. There's Marshall. Marshall drives baseline, puts it up and in. Lawan Marshall gets his 12th point, first two points here in the second half. A four point lead. Clarkson kicks it over to Montford on the left side. Back out top to Johnson. Johnson, left side now, left elbow. Being hounded there by Hopkins. Right. Now top of the key. Goes over to Montford. Montford sidesteps one way. Goes over. Drilling to three. Nine for Montford. It's a one-point lead for the Marauders, or for the uh, Bulldogs. Hopkins right in front of us. 3.15 left in this one. Hopkins goes left side. Gets it over to Jones. Jones will have to force all the way out. Now gets it over to Marshall. Marshall, top of the key. Dish it down low. Shot goes up and in by Jabril Hunter. Hunter's got six or seven. With Johnson, a three-point three-point lead for the for the uh, Bulldogs. Ball comes into Glassy. Down low to Reeves. Reeves up off the glass and in. Nine points for Michael Reeves. A one-point lead for the Marauder or for the Bulldogs. Ball knocked off the foot of one of the off one of the Bulldogs. Fast break to Johnson, three on two. Here's a shot by Montford. And Clarkson gets the rebound. Glasby. Now to Johnson. Johnson gonna drive the lane, puts it up, can't get it to go. Rebound, battle for picked up by the Bulldogs. Jones has it. Gets it all the way up. And ball thrown away. Picked up by Clarkson. Over to Johnson. Johnson to Montford. Montford. Drives a leg, kicks it down to Reeves, down, and he can't handle it. And a whistle and a foul. See who the foul is on. Foul's going against Dorian Re or Dorian uh, Golston. Or no, I take that back. It's going to be Dor- Darian Riddle, his fourth. And the team's tenth. We're going to take a timeout. With 2.02 remaining in this one, it's the Bulldogs 58 and the Marauders, 57, back after this. What? Become a donor and believer. In- Why do you exercise? To look better? To feel better? To drop a few pounds? To train for an event? To defy age? Or to keep your ability to say yes to the things you love to do? Whatever motivates you, G&G Fitness Equipment is here to get you there. Treadmills, ellipticals, rowers, bikes, home gyms, and accessories. We'll pair you with the right equipment, teach you how to use it, and be there every step of your fitness journey. G&G Fitness, your goal is our goal. Become a donor and believer in the mission of Central State University. Help CSU thrive for years to come. To learn more, go to www.csubelievers.com. Our new funding website is safe, easy to use, and can be easily accessed from any mobile device. Visit www.csubelievers.com. Become a CSU Believer today. A Special Wish Foundation. Back here at a sold-out Beacom Lewis Gym on the campus of Central State. Wilberforce leads at 58-57 with two minutes and two seconds left in the regulation. It's been close all the way. Central State's biggest lead was uh, six points. And Wilberforce's biggest lead was seven here in the second half. Right now, the Marauders are 23-54 for 42% from the field. Marauders, or for the Bulldogs, are 20-49 for 40%. Glassby going to the line to shoot two. Glassby has eight points, making nine. And we're tied at 58. 
Glasby will get the second shot. Try to give the Marauders a one point lead. Second shot goes up, no good off the front of the rim. Rebound picked up by Oliver. He loses it. Glasby has it again. Montford fires up a three. Can't get it to go. Rebound battle for picked up by Jones of the and Glasby's gonna be called for the foul from behind. Glasby is gonna pick up his first foul. And the seventh on the team, so the Bulldogs will be in the one and one. And going to the line will be Jones. Isaiah Jones. He's got uh, he's got 16 points tonight. He is two for two from the line. Crowd coming alive on the far side. Shot goes up and no good. Rebound comes down and a whistle and a foul. So he whistle and a foul is going against uh, Malik Timmons. That'll be his third. And the Marauders will be at the line for two. This is one heck of an atmosphere, I'll tell you what. Next year it's going to be over at uh, Wilberforce. Fifty-eight, fifty. As Glassby goes back to the line, Glassby one for two tonight, and first shot no good. One fifty left in regulation. As the official is talking to Timmons about something, and now here's Glassby's second shot. Goes up and good. Nothing but net. Glassby. Ten points on the night for him. Ball almost knocked away by it is taken away by Glassby to Montford. Glassby back it and no good. And he's gonna be <laughs> he runs right into one of the cheerleaders. Foul's going against. That's gonna be against Tyler Hopkins, his first. 141 left. 59 58. 59 58 Marauders. Timeout. Wilberforce, a 30-second timeout back after this. A Special Wish Foundation Dayton is the only wish-granting organization in the region granting wishes to local children who are battling for their life against a life-threatening illness. Founded in 1983, a Special Wish Foundation has granted over 1,700 wishes. Find out more about a Special Wish Foundation and how you can help make a very special wish come true. Call 937-223-WISH. Or log on to a special wish Dayton.org. A special wish foundation Dayton is a recognized 501c3 and all funds raised stay within the local community to support local children. One forty one remaining in this second half. And uh, Quentin Glassby going to the line to shoot two. Glasby. It was two for four from the line. Shot goes up, no good. Back into the game comes Dion Ga- Dion Gaston. Glasby trying to give the Marauders a two-point lead. They lead by one right now. Set 59-58. Second one goes up and in. 60-58, a two-point lead with 137 left. Riddle into the front court, double team. Now breaks free. Now gets it over to the near side to Gaston. Gaston right elbow gets the ball back for Marshall. Now over to goes over to Jones. Jones back to Gaston. Gaston into the corner to Marshall. Marshall's going to drive the lane, puts it up, and got it to go. The one Marshall, 12 points for him. And we're tied at 60 with 109 to go. Ball comes across over to Monford. Monford will slow it up. One minute to go here in this one. In regulation, Clarkson over on the far side. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Clarkson now to Monford. Monford going to drive. Little spin move puts it up and no good. Rebound comes down to the Bulldogs. Less than a minute to go. Here's Riddle. 
Ritter will slow it up. And being out of there, timeout called by Kevin Waters. A full timeout with 39.8 seconds left, 21 seconds on the shot clock. We're tied at 60, back in, the, back in a few. When I was little, I didn't talk for a long time. I was sensitive to lights and sounds, so I built secret hiding places where they couldn't get in. Sometimes I do the same things over and over, until one day I found out I had autism. My family got me help. Slowly, I learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org slash signs. Brought to you by Autism Speaks and the Ad Council. Profiler Performance Products is an all-American manufacturer of racing cylinder heads and intake manifolds. From two-time Drag Week winner Jeff Lutz to the winningest bracket champions like Disco Dean Karn, Profiler Performance has become the overwhelming choice of drag racing's best-known name. Profiler Performance offers the absolute best bolt-on performance for cylinder heads and intake, utilizing their own in-house custom casting and CNC machining. For more information, visit ProfilerPerformance.com or find them on Facebook. Profiler Performance, they make power they haven't even used yet. Here we go. 39.8 seconds left. We're tied at 60. Bulldogs have the ball. And they'll be inbounding it right in front of us. Inbounding it will be Lawan Marshall. Marshall will inbound it. 21 seconds on the shot clock. Inbound comes to Gaston. Gaston gets it over. Goes to Thomas. Thomas moves the ball over to the left side. There's a shot. No good. And picked up by Hopkins. His shot no good. Rebound comes down to Gillespie. 24 seconds left and a whistle and a foul going against Hopkins. That'll be his second. That'll send Glassby to the line for two with 22.9 seconds left. So Glassby going back to the line. Glassby, 22.9 seconds left, first shot goes up and in. That was a big one. 61-60. Glassby, they get the ball back after they changed the score. They gave the ball, Bulldogs 61. There's a second shot by Gillespie. Shot goes up and in. Gillespie drills the last three in a row, 62 to 60. Ball goes out of bounds, and it's going to belong to the Bulldogs. Inbounding it will be Marshall. Full court pressure by the Marauders. 21.9 seconds left, and timeout called by the Bulldogs. As Marshall couldn't get it in within that five second. We're going to have a full timeout. No, a 30 second timeout. We'll be right back after this. Why do you exercise? To look better? To feel better? To drop a few pounds? To train for an event? To defy age? Or to keep your ability to say yes to the things you love to do? Whatever motivates you, G&G Fitness Equipment is here to get you there. Treadmills, ellipticals, rowers, bikes, home gyms, and accessories. We'll pair you with the right equipment, teach you how to use it, and be there every step of your fitness journey. G&G Fitness, your goal is our goal. 21.9 seconds left. The, the Bulldogs have the ball. They trail by two, 62 to 60. Full court pressure by the Marauders. And a whistle, and what do we have here? A foul going against the Bulldogs. See what's on. Foul's going against Isaiah Jones. That'll be his third. That'll send uh, Randall Clarkson to the line to shoot two. He is two for two from the line tonight. He had 12 points last night. Just two points tonight. No, I take that back. It was uh, 
I take that back. Chris Clarkson, Clarkson is now fouled by Riddle. That'll be Riddle's fifth. So Darian Riddle is gone. And he fouls out without scoring a point. You'll hear four... You'll hear uh, more from this sophomore as his career goes on. And coming coming in is Tony Collins with 15.6 seconds left. Clarkson has a chance to. Clarkson two for two, make it three for three from the line to nine, and it's a three point lead. Now he's going to try and make it a two possession game for the Marauders. Three for three from the line tonight. Three points. Second shot goes up and no good. Rebound comes down to Marshall. Marshall will get it to Gaston. Gaston on the move. Taken away by Johnson. Johnson's going to lay it up. Tried to slam it. Couldn't do it. And what do we got here? Johnson tried to get cute. Slam it. But it didn't go. Foul's going against. Foul's going against, uh, looks like Tom Johnson. No, I take that back. I don't know who it's against. Going to the line will be Deion Gaston. He's got six points. He'll be shooting the one and one. 6.1 seconds left. Shot goes up, and no good. Rebound comes down to Glassby, and a whistle and a foul going against Marshall. LaJuan Marshall picks up his first foul. 4.7 seconds left. Coming back into the game is Terrence Golston. Glassby will go to the line to shoot two. Glassby has made the last three. He's five or eight, five of eight from the line tonight. Four point seven seconds left. They're going to hold up as one of the officials is talking. Here, here comes Glassby. He's going to shoot the first one. Trying to make this a two-possession game. Shot goes up and in. Two-possession game with 4.7 seconds left. That pretty much ices it almost. This one will. Second shot by Quentin Glaspie. Shot goes up and good. It's a five-point lead with 4.7 seconds left. Ball batted out of bounds by Clarkson. 3.8 seconds left. As you hear the... uh, Marauder fans yet singing na 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 hey hey. Ball comes in and ball taken away, and that's going to do it. And your final score: the Marauders 65 and the Bulldogs 60 as they rush the court. Great game tonight by the Marauders as they win for the second time in a row. They improved to 4-16 and 16 on the year. And the Bulldogs fall to 4-12. and 12. Let's hear the band.
Brooks again. 65 to 60. Man strike up the band, I tell you that. The unofficial total for tonight's game. For Wilberforce, Corey Moore had two points. Tony Thomas had three. Deion Gaston had six. Isaiah Jones, 16 points to lead the, uh, lead the Bulldogs. Zero Hunter had seven. Juan Marshall had 12. Terrence Colson had two points. Davon Thomas had five. And Hunter Hopkins had five. For the Central State Marauders, Josiah Wilson had three points. Randall Clark had three. Uh, Tom Johnson had eight points all in the first half. Martin Oliver, 18 points. Roy Montford had nine. Quinn Glassie had 13, nine here in the second half. Most of them were free throws. And Michael Reeves had four points. We're going to talk to the uh, head coach. Head coach of the uh, head, We're now joined by Joseph Price and uh, Coach. Two wins in a row. That two nights yeah, in a row. That's, you, that's pretty good. It was a great game today and great environment. And we really appreciate everybody coming out and supporting us and all the fans watching us at home. I'll tell you, it's been an exciting day. 65-60. Uh, um, who was it? Quentin Glassby came through in the clutch with the free throw. Yeah, I'll tell you, you know, he was really worried. I just told him just get the ball in his pocket. You know, he, uh, he was panicking a little bit and losing his confidence. So, you know. I just told him to put it right there in the pocket and follow through and everything. 50% from the free throw line. I think I think he, he was a little worried there uh, there towards the end with the pressure on him. Yeah, you know, he was. He, he was 7 for 11 for the game. So, you know, he really came through. Um, you know, he came off the bench and gave us 15 and 9. So, you know, in 26 minutes, we're really proud of his effort. Martin Oliver, 18 points. Uh, yeah, I tell you, Martin was on fire the first <laughs> half. I think he was four for five and, you know, really had a lot of energy going. But I wanted him to kind of settle down. So we tried to save him a little bit because we knew it was going to be a 40-minute grind today. Oh, yeah. That, today. You knew this uh, going in that uh, these two teams, they uh, they play very hard against each other. And you guys know you you know you guys know each other pretty well. Absolutely. The kids play against each other all the time. And, uh, I think that, uh, you know, they kind of know each other. So great day for the Green County basketball and Wilberforce, uh, the city of Wilberforce basketball. So the Battle of Wilberforce goes to Central State tonight. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, you know, Coach Waters did a great job with his kids. And, uh, you know, we, they fought really hard and we fought really hard. So it was a back and forth battle. So it was a great day. And I'm sure we made it on the Centennials uh, happy today. Rebounds, you had 40 to, to 35 over them. Uh, turnovers they had 19 to 14 for you uh, yeah I tell you you know we I told our team early in, uh, in halftime you know we capitalized on a lot of their turnovers in uh, the first half and and uh, that was really a great thing for us because we we converted those turnovers and turned them into points so I mean, we did a great job the first half and, and we can continue that the second half so uh, another uh, another great game tonight uh, here at uh, Beacon Lewis gym and uh, can't rest. You got Wayne State coming in on Wednesday. Yeah, I'll tell you, you know, um, um, which, like I told you yesterday, you know, we just wanted to get through that game and, and get the win and try to save our legs. Even in the first half today, we kind of took our time and didn't put a whole lot of pressure because I knew we had to, you know, play for 40 minutes and I knew it was going to be a grind. So the mm -hmm. kids reacted and they did a great job the second half and put a lot more pressure on them. Well, Coach, uh, we'll talk to you on uh Wednesday night, another big win here for the Marauders. They win it 65 to 60 in a great game by both teams. They played a they they played a hell of a game too. Yeah, they did. Like I said, Coach Waters had them ready and prepared. They try to control the tempo, so we try to change it up at the end of the game and give them something different to look at. So 
Um, our kids really responded really well, and we got a couple key rebounds down there at the end. So, you know, we're shorthanded, but yeah. we came up with the victory, and that's the main thing. It's a that's total team effort, though. Well, now you got Wayne State coming in, so yeah. we'll talk to you on Wednesday. All righty, we'll see you Wednesday. Final score, 65-60. to 60. Tonight's game has been brought to you by the Gem City Sports Network, Central State University, the um, Profiler Performance Products, and also uh, G&G Fitness fitness products so this Doug Brown saying so long we'll talk to you again on Wednesday night right here from Beacom Lewis Gym the final score once again tonight the Marauders 65 and the Bulldogs 60 this has been a presentation of the Gem City Sports Network good night everyone